Bad Girls Club. Oh, this fruit fly, fat as shit. <coughs> Damn, that nigga big. Fuck me up. That's a big ass fruit fly, like. Bad Girls Club season. Bad Girls Club season nine, episode three. Let's get into this fucking shit, taco. Okay, I'm dead off Rima. I'm dead off Erica. All right, first, let me just. Let me just start off this shit on a positive note. Ashley, like, bitch, I don't think that you could actually, who knows if the weed laws are in uh, Mexico. But, bitch, you look stoned. Like, for real. Barbie doesn't, doesn't actually look like she's always stoned. Like, she's probably one of those people that are high on life. But, Truti, every time I see her, I'm just like, this bitch rolling. Like, she always looks like she rolling to me. Like, <laughs> she's always giggling and shit. Having to go. But, you know what, maybe that's just me. I know the silly and goofy bitch community is going to be mad about that shit. They're going to be like, oh, she just, she just likes to giggle. But it's like, Tracy, that bitch looks lifted to me. And it's not a bad thing. I'm trying to see you like, what's up? I'm going to come chill, bitch. Bitch, who is Charlie? So, I'm talking to Rima or Charlie or whatever the fuck you decided to call yourself this fucking week, bitch. You need to get it together. This bitch is the most unstable. Like, you can usually pick them out. It's like an egg waiting to explode. And this bitch just been shaking on, on camera for me. And I feel like she's about to blow up. I don't know what's going on. Rima is scurry, okay? She's scurry. Not scary, scurry, okay? That's a scurry bitch. And I don't trust her. I don't trust her because she got she's in charge of a child. And she's telling me she got an alter ego named Charlie that only come out when she drinks tequila. <sighs> bitch, that was too much. Your whole life story is too fucking long for me. And that's not even her whole life story. That's the worst part. That's her whole fucking current beat. I just... I can't. I'd rather have the ringtone, bitch. Rima, good fucking day to you, bitch. Like, I'm just... I'm sorry. Like, when she started crying, talking about she confused, she brainwashed and shit, I'm just like, bitch, really? Like, that's how you coming into it? Like, didn't you just whoop this bitch's ass? Didn't your whole team just... What the fuck? Like, fuck out of here. Rima's silly. Fallon, that bitch looked like a glow worm to me. That bitch definitely looked like a fucking glow worm to me. And uh, Megan, Megan is scary as hell. I'm telling you, like, I don't get it. I don't get the bitches that be plotting. Like, I mean, like, do you see yourself right now? Because I know you home now. You know, you sitting on your couch and shit. You might have on some new clothes or something because the store might have paid you well. You might have got a couple grand, might do some uh, promos. You know, you might get free bottle service from some local clubs that remember your ass. Um... But bitch, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, y'all are really, like, trying to hate on each other and fucking come up with fucking schemes and shit. Don't get me wrong, bitch. I bet you Oxygen is paying for that plot line, bitch. But y'all are giving me so fucking much. Like, y'all are giving me fucking, uh, clue realness. Like, who done it? You know what I'm saying? Like, who done did this shit? What's going on? And the worst part is it's so fucking simple. Like, Rima... Bitch, you're in your fucking feelings. I'm sorry, this is fat ass fucking fruit fly. And what? Like, we got some bananas that day. Could you see him? Yo. We got some bananas, but really, though, this nigga is going hard right now. He just perched this shit. Okay. Um. So, yeah, so Rima, I really need you to fucking sit the fuck down. Like, I've been needing you to sit the fuck down. And it's really, it's really bothering me. Uh, Fallon, Fallon, I'm just done, cause you know, you ever need a bitch, like you ever, you like, okay, bitch, like I can't even fuck with Fallon, cause Fallon, like Fallon be giving me too much, Fallon be looking metallic as shit, like her bronzer is fucking some Alex Matt type shit. Like, I don't even know. That bitch looks fucking super to me. Like, she looks like she got a fucking power or two because, like, ain't nobody that fucking shiny, bitch. Not even shiny, just metallic. Not even glittery, metallic. Like, that, that bitch looks like, you know, she compiled a few compounds and shit. I don't fucking know. But, um, Fallon, you give me too much. And really, bitch, you came in here with that extreme ass fucking hairstyle, but it seems like you don't got the coins to fucking keep it up. I never understand that shit. If you don't go crazy fucking color and you don't have coins like that, bitch, what are you doing? When you. 
when you tell yourself as a brunette that you're gonna go blonde, bitch, keep up on your roots. And if you tell yourself as a fucking uh, blonde bitch that you're gonna go red, brunette, whatever, 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 keep up on your fucking roots. I'm just looking at this shit. If you can't afford it, mama, don't play. You can't lose if you don't play, okay? You feel me? You can't lose if you don't play, bitch. And you fucking playing yourself right now and you losing, so. <sighs> Too much. Who else can I fucking read? Megan. Megan, you're just a simple bitch. And, and the thing that kills me is like, you're younger than me. No, you're older than me. You're older than me. But how the fuck? Bitch, you're 22. You already got your titties done. The fuck? Whatever. I'm done. I'm over here finding out that Megan uh, is twenty is turning 22 years old. I'm like, ugh. Like, I hate bitches in my fucking age area that be fucking acting a fool. If you could read the comments on some of these videos of Bad Girls Club, this bitch is out here talking about something. I would love to meet these girls. They are my heroes. They seem real cool. When did they seem cool? When they was ruining each other's fucking uh, shit that was paid for by some other nigga in out of Texas? You know what I mean? Like, when the fuck was they looking cool? I never seen Bad Girls Club thought they was looking cool. I thought the house was cool. But I ain't never thought them bitches was cool. I never was like, I want these bitches to chill with me. Not never in my fucking life. Because if you fucking simple enough to go on that show and not take advantage of the fact that you just fucking chilling and always fighting and beefing with people, then what the fuck are you really there for, bitch? You just a fucking roughneck asshole wearing a cocktail dress. I don't need that. I'm gone. Uh, talk about some, um, wear classy, mama. None of y'all bitches is classy. That's why you fighting on fucking camera. You just bugging me. And the worst part is, Rima, you gonna have a real hard time trying to tell your son not to beat on motherfuckers, not to act a damn fool, not to drink, not to drive, all this shit. And you over here, come on, boo. Like, that's what fucks with me. Like, you single, you ain't got nobody looking up to you, you know what I'm saying? And, and to be real, that's nobody. You know, because even these basic bitches, niggas looking up to them. There's girls out here like, yes. I wish I could uh, fucking be this girl. I wish I could fight this girl. Why you want to fight her too? Y'all don't know nothing about her. I think that's the worst part. It's like, we don't know, we don't really know nothing about these girls. We never take time to figure out who the fuck they are. People want to look back afterwards, you know, find out what they're doing with little side projects. But you never get to know these girls, you know what I mean? You never get to know them really. You get to know a little, a little facet of who they are. And like, influenced heavily by drinking and then being provoked. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of these girls, I got a feeling uh, some of them ain't fucking all there already. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they interview a lot of girls and they're just trying to find the ones that say the raw shit on camera. I think that's what it is. Like the ones that'll do whatever it's for the fame because that's what they think it is. And you would think after nine seasons, bitches will kind of understand that once you get on this show, you're not really going to have no other opportunities other than being on the Oxygen Network and really... True TV, times is hard, niggas losing cable. So, how many people are actually watching Oxygen? Don't get me wrong, I'm sure people are watching your show, boo. I'm watching your show, I'm reviewing your show. But, um, that's where it stops. I don't give a fuck about what happens to you after this shit. I really don't. I really hope, I hope the best. But, you know, you can fucking hope a house don't burn down when it's just on fire. You know what I'm saying? You can hope the shit don't burn all the way down, but it's already on fire. So, what's hope gonna do? That's my old lady spiritual. Christina, your eyebrows are everything to me. I have no beef with you, bitch. Christina just seemed like she here to chill, but Christina had gave me so much fucking life. But she was like, she like she loved she loved it when I punched her in the head. Like she loved it. She loved for me to be the ass. Like I know she do. Christina, you know she loved for that ass whooping. You like it, I love it. Give it to her. You know what I mean? She wanted. Julie wanna get her ass tossed. And that's unfortunate. Because they'll toss that ass. Point blank. Um with that said. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't care about anybody else this fucking season. I'm trying to fucking think about these hoes right now. I'm trying to think who I missed. I know I missed somebody. Julie, I didn't really even speak on her, but Julie is a fucking cunt ass, whole bag, fucking dragon bitch, and I don't fucking care about her.